Welcome back, watch fans. Today, I've got another watch review, but it's not an unboxing. It is a TW Steel. Now, what makes this one different than all the others is that it is in, in support of the Renault uh, F1 team. Now, I'm a huge F1 fan, and uh, if you've seen some of my eBay, eBay sales, I kind of went nuts buying a bunch of Formula One watches. I can't help it. I love F1. Uh, I even have this tag homage. I've got a tag who are uh, real um, Calibre 16, uh, Ayrton Senna. I've got a bunch of Jacques Le Mans, uh Formula One watches. And so this one did not escape my eBay searches, and so I ended up buying it. Uh, very cool case. Comes like a shipping container, how you might ship, I suppose, the F1 team might ship the uh, carbon fiber steering wheel if it's not attached, or various things when they're traveling. Uh, comes with a little documentation, but this is the iconic TW Steel styling. The uh, the team, uh, sorry, the company has only been around for a few years. I'd say since probably the mid '90s uh, at most. And this is, I'm sorry, uh, late '90s, and they began to support Formula One, and they recently got, uh, not recently, I'd say mid '90s. They became the official timing partner of Renault. I don't believe they are currently, but they supported them for many years. Uh, I think they even had uh, support from some of the members like David Coldhart, who you guys may remember from the late 2000s and early 2010s Formula One season. Great driver. I think he uh, also drove for Red Bull. Big fan of his. Um, more Kimi Raikkonen and a Max Verstappen fan, but... Uh, Nevertheless, he was a great driver. I think he came from Great Britain. Uh, he certainly had the accent for it. Now, this watch differs only from the normal TW Steel watch by the fact that it's got yellow accents and the yellow threading, and it says Renault F1. Uh, normally, because that's the Renault colors, um, normally this, this watch would come just as you see it, but it'd be all white and black. Um, this tends to be their style these two steel studs. Now this is a used watch, but it's actually in very good condition. Um, I've completely taken it apart, cleaned the face, uh, oiled the, the crown gasket, and uh, as and I actually replaced the O-ring seal here. Uh, I, I really love this back. Spectacular. I love the fact that it's embossed TW Steel. There you can see is their kind of their logo. They've uh, replicated that on here. And interestingly enough, uh, ever since they started doing this, I've noticed companies all over are not doing this. Uh, I have a Wenger that also has this, and I have several Ingersolls that also replicate this as well. Uh, this is a 316 stainless steel case. Uh, it's in quite good shape. Uh, the crystal is hardened mineral crystal, but you can see there's ever so slight scratches on there. Uh, not a big deal. You don't even really see it unless you're under a fine microscope or a an amazing camera like you would get with the iPhone, whatever this is. Uh, but also, I want you to take a look at their logo just above the TW Steel. It's mirrored. See how I'm making it go back and forth? I get such a kick out of that. It's it's reflected off the inside of the crystal as well, so it looks like a, a, a prism effect, which is pretty spectacular. This is an excellent watch. It's got great presence, great size. Uh, I love this watch. It's signed on the buckle with their logo on the on the dial, uh, the crown, and the back. Uh, and I think it even says it on the strap as well. So this is an excellent watch. I, I really like it. You know, I've got so many Formula One watches. I, I've, I have so many watches. I, I have to start getting rid of these. There's only so many that I can keep. Um, let's do a quick video on TW Steel and uh, get a little bit of history of the brand, and then we'll finish up with this watch. The Dutch watchmaker T.W. Steel, known for its large oversized watches and chronographs, was established in 2005 by father and son team Jordi and Todd Koblenz in the Netherlands. A fearless entrepreneur, T.W. Steel's CEO Jordi Koblenz is the commercial force driving the brand. With a passionate belief in the product, he has an infectious enthusiasm for connecting and growing the T.W. Steel network across the globe. As Jordi Koblenz is the commercial powerhouse driving the TW Steel brand, so his father, Ton, is the creative mastermind, personally responsible for the visualization of the TW Steel style from day one. Pride in the brand and the unique feeling of family closeness and harmony starts here at the source. 
It spreads throughout the company and further across the world, adding strength and confidence to the TW Steel network. 2009 saw TW Steel's partnership with Renault F1 team as their official timing partner. Running a three-year deal saw the release of the TW Steel Renault F1 collection. The two executions, Pilot and CEO Tech, offered fans of TW and Renault F1 alike a piece of heritage to wear on their wrists. The relationship was further entwined by signing Fernando Alonso and Romain Grosjean as ambassadors. The two flew the flag for TW Steel on the BBC wearing their watches during every race. Although TW Steel's partnership eventually came to an end, TW Steel continues to support Formula One through various sponsorships. Today, the 2011 Ernst & Young Emerging Entrepreneur of the Year is on a mission to sell timepieces that enrich people's lives. Believing a great watch is a compliment, his vision for TW Steel is to deliver above the value of the timepiece and bring affordable products with attitude that offer a great experience to the wear. All right, now that you've had a chance to uh, watch the, the video and learn a little bit about TW Steel, let's get right into the watch. So this uses the 2415 Miyota movement. It is a very basic uh, but rock solid, reliable, three hand with date movement. Uh, this this movement will outlast this this watch. Uh, I absolutely guarantee it. Um, those movements are, are just rock solid, reliable. They don't have any jewels, but they don't need them. They're just very simple. There's not a lot to this watch. Um, there should be a picture up there on, on the right, but uh, good, solid, reliable movement. I have uh, replaced the battery, so the battery is brand new. Uh, if when I sell this, uh, I will pull it. It has a hacking feature. You'll see secondhand stops. Um, saves about 80% battery power when you do that, which is quite interesting. Uh, normal battery life is about, um, let's say, three years, but it can last up to eight with the hacking feature engaged like this. Uh, but I'll leave it in for right now. Um, there is also a, um, there's another version of this exact same watch, but it is a chronograph version. I'll put that directly up there to the right. It's very cool. Personally, I think it's a little bit busy. <clears throat> there's a lot going on on the watch and it kind of makes it a little bit difficult to, uh, to really appreciate. I mean, I'm a big fan of, of chronographs, but there's just a little bit too much going on there. I actually prefer this one. I did see it. Um, they don't sell for much more than this one. Um, I don't know that there is necessarily as valuable or sought after. Uh, if you're a Renault fan, this is what you're looking for. Um, it's, a, it's a classic. There's a few out there. I think they all retail for around $100 uh, used. There's, there aren't too many new ones uh, anymore, excuse me. <clears throat> um, excellent watch. All right, I'll just get right into the measurements. Let's, let's get that out of the way very very decent size i believe it's 46 millimeter let me see oh, gosh 48 and a half let me make sure that's right uh, i love it i think it's awesome and i'll put it on my wrist so you can see you can see yeah let's say 48 the lug is 24 and the case depth is 14 14 and a half i'll say <clears throat> excellent watch um, I've already gone over some of those other features. Uh, it is not a screw down crown. That's okay. Um, it is a five ATM and I'll put a chart up there to the right. Uh, five ATM is uh, 50 meters, five bar, uh, water resist. It's uh, quite decent. I think you can wear it in the shower. You can do the dishes with it. Uh, I think you can even do some, some basic snorkeling, uh, swimming. Sorry. You can do some basic swimming. I don't know that I would necessarily take the snorkeling. You could probably do a little bit, uh, but you really don't want to take this to the beach, in my honest opinion. I mean, it also has a leather strap too, and you wouldn't really do that. It's a genuine leather strap. Um, it's just something you just wouldn't want to do with a watch like this. But you can pretty much wear this anywhere. And if you get thrown in the pool, when you're having fun with your friends <clears throat> at a party, you won't ruin it. Uh, can't say the same for your cell phone though. Uh, all right, let's check out the loom. Loom is very cool on this. It probably doesn't look like it has any, but actually the entire, the entire, that's one of the things about it that's kind of interesting. The entire face to dial all the numbers and the arms themselves are 100% loom. Let's really light that up. 
very cool. Look at that, even the second hand. Absolutely love it. I think it's fantastic. It is so cool and it still lasts. It's, this watch is an older watch. <clears throat> I think from the early 2000s, 2004, I believe. I probably should say it in the, in the video that I played. Um, not much else to say about this. Good solid watch and I'm gonna take it off. I've got a seven and a half inch wrist. Put my Pistina over there. But I want you to see what it looks like on a seven and a half inch wrist. I'm six foot three, about 220 pounds. Uh, this is a good solid, solid watch on my wrist. I like it. It's not too big. It fits me really well if you're a big, strong, muscular guy. Um, I'm about average build, a little bit more than average. <clears throat> if you're a big, strong guy, this will look good on you. Uh, highly recommend it. I love the yellow stitching. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please make sure you click like. If you hated it, please click like. Also, if you like Formula One, definitely click like. And, uh, Please subscribe. I've got a lot more videos like these coming. Uh, please let me know what you think. If there's any watches you'd like to see me review, I do watches up to $750. Uh, doesn't mean I want to spend $750 on them. Uh, I mean, I can immediately, but uh, I've been pretty good on most of the requests. So um, please subscribe. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it.